on today's video I'm going to be doing an oil change and a transmission fluid change on my daughter's 2019 Prius C so I've already got it up on my lift and the oil change is simple enough and I've already posted a video on that so I will proceed with uh, the transmission fluid change so that everybody can see. And the first thing, this does have a full panel underneath here. There's a small one that I removed to get to the oil at the oil drain, um, but it looks like I have to. There was another little small panel here and I removed it, but uh, I don't see the transmission drain plug from there. So I'm gonna pull off the full lower panel here and I'll show you the uh, bolts. It looks like some 10 millimeter bolts and there might be some clips too. So we get under there and we'll go from there. So looking at underneath here, so there are, there are some bolts right here that will pop out going around. And yeah, there's another one there. It looks like they're mostly, mostly bolts. So, so yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get mine. We'll take those out. Start getting all these buggers out. And if you don't have one, I would highly recommend that you pick up something like this because it sure makes short work. All these bolts. Uh, okay. Kind of makes it a nice one. Oh no, there's a clip. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Okay. Looks like two clips. have to be ready for everything to fall on you. Oh, there's nothing right there. Oh, dirt and debris that built up. So, got the cover off and now exposes the entire transmission. And here is the drain plug. And then over on the back side, right back up here, Right up there is the fill plug. So one key tip, always loosen the fill plug first. Because if you drain out the fluid and you can't get the fill plug in or out so that you can refill it, then you can't go anywhere because you can't get your transmission fluid back in. So always loosen that first, then drain, and then fill. So, all right. Well, now we're in business. So, to the point now, here's our fill plug. So, I want to crack that and just to make sure. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> As you can see, they can be stubborn. That's why you want to make sure you can get it loose. So, now that that's loose, now I can come over. Loosen. So on this side, here is my drain plug. I'm just going to try to crack this second thing. There it goes. Okay. So. There he is. Okay. There we. Oh, good. It didn't. Uh, it didn't. Go away. Okay. Now. Now we'll just let that drain and we'll go from there. All right, all the fluid's drained out and I just put the drain plug back on. You wanna make sure when you're doing this that you don't over tighten it. 
this is an aluminum casing and you can strip that out easily. So don't over tighten it. Just want to make sure I wipe everything off. There we go. So now I'm going to lower the car down and I'll get my tube set up to fill it up. Okay. So here's my tube. I just dropped this down from above. The key to this is then I just put it into the fill hole. Now when you fill a transmission like this, these are exactly like a manual transmission. You fill and when it's full, it'll start dripping out of this hole right here. So now I can go back up and fill from upstairs from above and use gravity. You can get a little pump, a hand pump, and I have found that those are just a real pain in the butt to use. So this works so much easier and just stick this in there. Now I'll lower the car back down and we'll start filling up from above. So this is the setup I do. I just use a little bungee cord, the funnel. I have a hose attached to it. And now we can start filling up. So I won't bore you with all of these. I'll just show you the, so there you can. And with the clear tube, it's easy to see. Nice pink, kind of a reddish, dark reddish pink. The, the other look kind of burgundy brownish. There you can see the, the fresh color as it comes out of the bottle. So, and you just fill until you hear it start to, to drip out or if somebody else is underneath looking. But one down, get the next one. So here is a comparison of the transmission fluid. So obviously this is the used fluid with 50,000 miles on it. And this is brand new fluid. This is why you change your transmission fluid. I don't care what trans, uh, what uh, manuals say or don't give you a time or a mileage or anything like that. Always change your transmission fluid, people, on a regular basis. This will make your transmission last a lot longer <coughs> and fluid is a lot cheaper than a transmission. So keep your performance up, keep it clean, and the detergent packages then are constantly new. So like I said, this is 50,000 miles. Um, a lot of Toyota Master Techs recommend 50 to 60,000 miles on transmissions or less. My manuals I do every 30,000 and it won't hurt you. These are eCVTs on the hybrids and it won't hurt to change them even at 30 if you so wish. So, but that's a pretty obvious just difference. So if you see up there, right where the hose goes in, it's overflowing now and it's dripping down. That's when you know it's full. So we're gonna pull this out. We'll probably get a little more drippage here. The hose not in the way. You just wanna make sure that the car's level when you do this. Car's gotta be level, so. <laughs> you watch yourself. Watch yourself. So we've got it buttoned up on the bottom side. The fill plug is back in. So now we'll pull this out. And there we go. And what I do is I just leave this curled in, into itself just like that. And then I just hang it with the bungee strap that I use right in my garage and it's ready to go for the next time. So here's our cover off. And that's all we have to do now. So we did change the engine oil. I said I didn't show that too much today because I've done a video on it on this car. But today was the main thing was doing the transmission fluid and we've got that all changed out. And so now we just have to put back our undercover. And as I showed you before, it was mostly 10 millimeter bolts and a couple of clips. So we'll slap that on there and this job will be done.